All right, everybody, it's been a little while, but we're back with more hot, fast, thrilling tournament action. That's right. Um, this is in the top four right now. Winner is guaranteed top three or top two. I forgot how it works in single elimination. I believe winner is guaranteed top two, actually, because single elimination is crazy, um, which is nice. This is best two out of three. Um, and we got fire on the left here versus the swarm on the right. Uh, they opted to start with a nimble race first. Um, swarm got to ban first and banned lycanthrope. And then fire banned safe and warlock. So nimble was the pick. It was a between it was between nimble and guarded OG. And so far, very close race. Very, very close race. Both of them having a pretty decent prologue. You love to see it. Um let's go ahead and get some audio in on I guess fire's perspective should be fine here. Let's go ahead and listen in. But yeah, um, this is gonna be a lot of fun. I'm excited to see Fire obviously making what some might call a pretty large upset earlier in the bracket, uh, upsetting um, Jupiter. Being able to send Jupiter out of the tournament at fourth, fifth, sixth? I don't know how to count. Um, and Jupiter was the number one seed of the tournament as well. So just from seeding alone, it's definitely an upset, so. But Fire obviously like made it into the top three of the last tournament, has been grinding like crazy, playing tons and tons and tons of randomizer. So I'm not surprised that uh, Fire is doing well for themselves. Swarm obviously known very much for their any percent prowess, but now at this point, honestly, they're more of a randomizer gamer nowadays. Uh, because of the tournament, they've shown themselves to be quite good at the randomizer. And look at this, literally neck and neck, they're both going for death skip one after the other both with really clean movement out of it as well. Um, this is nimble, so you're gonna be seeing all of the movement options available right at the start. This is a strat that I like from Fire. What Fire's going for is like kind of faster. This is, um, this is new. So what we thought was Fire shouting out his best friend, Joel Biden, uh, with his name saying for Biden. But no, actually, I think he meant forbidden because he's a forbidden route gamer. Skipping two relics at the very start of the run in Alchemy Lab to get a massive advantage early on, finds Gold Ring. Oh, but is missing out on that Garnet. Money could be a factor if they go to the library um, and there's like library cards there or something. Um, so Fire might be missing out on some cash, and we don't know what's behind Slogger and Gaibon yet. If there's a Vlad Relic there, I think this is just GG's three minutes in. But we don't know yet. Fire could also have some alternative routing shenanigans to get those Relics later, maybe. It's very possible. It's Power of Mist. Fire gets not punished at all for this and basically saves, like, two minutes. Shit, bro. He was... Fire has been cooking up some shit. I know he was talking in the, the Discord about skipping um, those checks in general as like an idea. And man, does it look like it's paid off. It, that's crazy. Absolutely insane behavior from Fire, but you know, you love to see it. We love the, the to see the hard gambles here. And... Um, I'm going to go ahead and end that uh, that Gamba submission. I probably should have ended it earlier. Oops, my bad. Uh, a little bit of a scamba going on, but no big deal. Yeah, that's a that's a massive advantage. Unless there's still the potential that Fire second guesses himself, especially later in the seed, and goes back to Alchemy Lab to find nothing. So it's not like guaranteed time save necessarily, but it is a good look for sure. So long as he doesn't bait himself into trying to go back there again later, which could happen. It could. It's not out of the question. The current uh, split is 66 to 34. It's about a two thirds advantage for fire right now over Swarm, um, which is fair. I don't think that's like an unreasonable uh, difference. I think this is closer to 50 50 um, in general, but seeing the beginning of this race, yeah, I think fire has a slight advantage for sure. Swarm's not that far behind though, all things considered. Like he's. 
it's probably like maybe two minutes behind at most. And honestly, two minutes, you could save that by skipping something else. Swarm could go for a different skip later. Uh, it could just come down to cleaner movement. Swarm's movement is obviously like pretty much top tier. Like he is a, a top runner for a reason. Uh, one of the best in the business. Clean wing smashes, very clean front slides, all that good stuff. I mean, we know Swarm is skipping Grand Falloon. We all know that. That's just, that just is, that's the standard. Yeah, if Fire caves and goes back to Alchemy Lab, he loses all the time he saved and actually loses extra time on top of that because it means his routing was less optimal than it could have been. It means that Swarm's routing ends up being better if they both check those locations. So Fire, if he wants to keep this time save, has to 100% commit to never going to Alchemy Lab again. Otherwise, it was just wasted time. It's only about a minute and a head uh, advantage. Thank you, the shit post experience for for um, your detective work. So yeah, ninety seconds isn't like that big of a lead, all things considered. In Nimble, I think it's a pretty big lead, but like Nimble also has a high likelihood of like kind of baiting the opponents uh, or baiting the racers themselves into like awkward spots because the minimum complexity is six. So because of that, there's a lot of locations that are just kind of rough uh, to get through. All Rocks having Jewel of Open is interesting. Um, we also have Tooth of Vlad found at Sword Card and Fire again, just like plowing through here, making quick work of the castle. No. Ice cream so good. Gang, 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 gang. Love to see the ice cream drop. Yeah, Nimble starts you with uh, Leapstone, Gravity Boots, Soul of Bat, plus a Duplicator, plus Buffalo, one Buffalo Star, plus Mana Prisms. So with these six items combined, uh, you start off with very, very uh, good stats. Frozen Milk, of course, solid milk. Shout out to all my milkers in the chat. Uh, if you don't understand uh, who the milkers are, you got to tune into the live stream, twitch.tv slash dragonblitz, where you should follow the stream and then make sure to check in when I'm going live um, so you could be one of our uh, uh, one of the milkers here in the chat. And you can also subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're very close to 10K subs on Dragon Blitz Daily. We could probably make it before the end of the year if you, yes, you, subscribe. You're probably the last person left to subscribe to get to 10K. It would help me out a lot. Please consider it. Anyways, back to the milking. Uh, the fire absolutely milking his lead, um, staying ahead this whole time. Honestly, going for a pretty insane gamble early game, which I imagine is either one of two things is going on in Fire's head. Either one, they're like, fuck it. I mean, I'm not going to think about this at all, and I'm just going to play the video game. Or two, they're like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. I gambled, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. I did a gamble. I did a gamble. I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose because I did a gamble. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. So one of those two things must be going on in Fire's head. And honestly, my first instinct is head empty, uh, moisturized in my own lane. Uh, oh, damn. Swarm got the, the Maria skip right there? Shit. I think Swarm might be catching up. We have a uh, witty pseudonym saying it's only about a minute 15 lead now. That's crazy. Hey, yo, shield rod? I mean, might as well. You already have Buffalo Stars, but you know what's better than Buffalo Stars? Fucking Shield Rod with Alucard Shield, so. Yeah, I do believe Fire does have a fuck it, we ball mentality in general. Yeah. So, so long as Fire doesn't trick themselves into going back to Alchemy Lab, they still have at least a minute lead here, so. But Swarm did also do extra item checks, which is going to put them even farther behind. Skill of Wolf. Yeah, I don't need that. Nine minutes in. Fire touches the red door at 9.02 to get out of the um, clock tower. So we can use that as a metric to see how far behind Swarm is. I think Swarm could catch up. One minute is not that bad. You got to check that for a library card for sure. You got to. Yeah, library card. Swarm's not going to miss that either. That's huge. Swarm's not going to. Okay, Swarm's going to miss the library card. He's doing some crazy shit. Where the fuck are you going, brother? Into the caverns now? 
Okay, wait a minute. This is actually kind of big-brained. It sucks that he's going to miss out on the library card, but going to caverns immediately... But this is the thing. Fire's also going to caverns, and I think Fire's route's like... Is it better? Is it worse? I don't know. It's tough to say. They're both skipping library, which I think is the correct play here. A library card drop as well from the Diplos. Well, that sucks. Uh, Fire already has a library card. It's Swarm who needs the library card right now. And Swarm has an extra check, has already checked, um, what's it called? Uh, the, the Fire of Bat location. Damn, this is this is a this is a tough. Oh, Dark Metamorphosis. That's three seconds of time loss. Twenty-four to touch the red door. So it's gonna look like Swarm is catching up. Uh oh. Okay, let's say thirty ten thirty-three to enter underground caverns. It's gonna look like Swarm is catching up. Oh my God, fire! So. It looks like Swarm's only about 10 seconds behind now, but in all actuality, he's still some minutes behind unless he commits to skipping Fire of Bat entirely. But he also doesn't have a library card, so not only does he need to skip Fire of Bat, he needs to somehow find a library card down here. Yeah, I don't think the Flame Star is worth it. Dark Metamorphosis, Soul Steel. I guess grab the extra money. You don't know what's in the shop yet, yeah. Yeah, Straight Up Swarm needs a library card if he wants to stay in this race, because Fire having two library cards, not that it really matters, is a duplicator, but... I don't know. It's, it's, it's tough. Definitely tough. Still doable, but tough. Library card at the shop? That doesn't matter. Because who's going to go to the shop easier and faster? It's going to be the person who already has a library card. So... If you expect them to buy a library card in the shop, that's not going to help. You know what I mean? You need to already have a library card, essentially, to, to save all the time that the library card would help you with. So Fire, honestly, kind of getting away with murder with the early uh, Forbidden Route into a lucky library card. Two lucky library cards, really, but really you only need one. But Swarm's movement is so clean. I feel like Fire is messing up ever so slightly. Just ever so slightly doing a couple of uh, suboptimal things. And then Swarm is just slowly catching up movement-wise. Another Vlad. It just sucks knowing that the library card is going to matter so much. You know? So we're two for five Vlads. One Vlad has to be the max complexity Vlad minimum. So we're looking at least one more random Vlad, maybe two. Yeah, straight up Swarm needs to find a library card somewhere in the caverns, mines, or catacombs, I think, in order to catch up. Will Swarm skip Merman? That's a question. Ain't nobody skipping Merman anymore. To be fair, it's going to be vanilla Merman, so it's fine. Because every time Swarm plays the randomizer, it has to be Vanilla Merman. So, it just makes sense. This is going to be Vanilla Merman. We already know. It's guaranteed. The randomizer's broken. Um, okay, good. So, I would obviously be winning this race right now because I always skip Merman, <laughs> he says. Facetiously. Swarm going for one extra check. If that was a library card... If that was a library card. What? Hold on. Hacks? Cheating? Fire's bat touched the water and didn't untransform. What the? F Hacking in my tournament? Confirmed cheater? Cheater spotted? Ladies and gentlemen, we got him? I actually don't know why that... Because he took damage. That was weird. Soten really sure is a game of all time, guys. <laughs> Cause Soten moment, yeah, that, that looks like a Soten moment for me. Echo, okay. 
That sucks. But it does mean that Spike Breaker is likely the next location, which is fine. You're already down here. Was that another meal ticket slash library card on the way down? Oh, no, it was a Zircon. Yeah, Swarm kind of missing out right now. Will he go to Grand Falloon just to do the item checks, I wonder? Water doesn't stop fire, true. I mean, yeah, just put on the spike breaker. Swarm doing the item checks and that's it. But it's opting to skip Grand Falloon as you do. As you do. We'll see what fire ops to do. Really nice uh, blind bat here from Swarm. And it's Merman. Nice. Swarm, never mind. Not very nice blind bat. You just have to wing smash downward. There you go. Well, this does mean that the library card is less potent. Still good. But now Fire can't use the library card here, which is like some time save that would have came from um, having the library card right now. So... Could be worse. And Fire is going to Grand Falloon. We know Swarm is skipping that. That could be what Swarm needs to get back in this race. I think he's going to go straight to the Holy Glasses, or sorry, Holy Symbol location, which in my mind probably has Holy Glasses. It has to have Glasses, the Ring, or um, Mist. Those are the three missing things, it seems. And let's see what we find at Grand Falloon. This could be a, a game changer if it's a random Vlad. All right. Congratulations to Fire1520 uh, for the 1-0. Oh, you know, I'll just give it to him. I'll just give it to him. He's got the 1 0 right now. Let's give it air quotes, actually. It's 1 0 right now in the set. Oh my god. You know, fire is cackling right now. So true. So true, Scrimps. He's sitting there going, ha, 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 ha. I win. I win for free. Uh oh. Unless the gremlin has something to say about it. Thank you, Fanturn, for the three months. Slaves. Much appreciated. Reminder, guys. Uh, right now, we are working on getting towards that Partner Plus uh, requirements. Uh, Partner Plus program is a thing that Twitch is doing where if you get enough paid subscriptions, so Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3, non-gifted, non-Twitch um, Prime subs, uh, if you get up to 350 of those uh, Partner Plus points uh, for three months, I can get just extra money from Twitch. So if you want to help support the channel, one of the best ways you can do it right now is by subbing at Tier 3. It really does help me out a lot. Um, just as a heads up, in case like anybody's like, oh, I want to gift subs to the channel. Right now, instead of gifting subs, we're, we're trying to do Tier 3s for, for, for now. Because we're getting close. We're over halfway to the first month goal. We're at over 900 or 19. What? We're over 190, almost to 200 out of the 350 points required. So. And there's glasses. Swarm is going straight to the second castle right now, I'm pretty sure. Which is uh, not good. Not good. Yeah. If you type exclamation mark PPP in the chat, partner plus push or partner plus program, uh, it, it lays it out. Tier one is worth one points. Tier two is worth two points and tier three is worth six points. So if you sub at tier three, it's as if you gifted five subs and subbed for yourself. Um, and it costs less than five subs. So it's a better deal. 
you're supporting me more directly than gifting five subs. Um, and it's worth more than five subs. So it, it's probably the best way to support right now if you want to give money on Twitch specifically. Obviously, we still have um, Patreon or like other means of, of, of supporting the channel. Whatever is most convenient for you, go right ahead. I'm just going to let the people know what works best for me to help me get to that partner plus because that's just free money that Twitch is basically holding from me and not that. giving me because uh, because reasons. All right, so Fire using the library card to get into the library. I don't think Swarm is going to check the library at all, um, which might be a good call. Right now, nothing found in the library yet. Javelin acquired. If Swarm enters the library, I think that might be low-key a throw. It's a throw. Yeah. Yeah, that's tough. Because there's, there's nothing in the library. What relic was in the shop? There was nothing in the shop. It was an empty relic location. And Fire is in the lead by a lot. That library card really did matter. Obviously, skipping out on the um, Vlad relic also mattered. But yeah, right now, Swarm hasn't done Fire of Bat yet, which Swarm will likely do Fire of Bat, which is even more time loss. Um, he's missing a Vlad relic. Like, this is just, this is just tough. This is just tough. Missed the first part. Who's ahead? Fire by a lot right now. That's why he has the 1-0 in air quotes because he, he has already won this game. It's kind of a formality. We do have another game after this. Um, so stick around for that, obviously. And, you know, there could be some upset potential. I mean, he only has uh, Power of Sire and Buffalo Star and needs two Vlad Relics, which I'm pretty sure they're both in the second castle. Because I'm pretty sure they have enough complexity right now, right? Because it's Bat into Jewel of Open, or sorry, so it's, it's Jewel of Open Layer 1. Layer 2 was Echo. Layer 3 was Merman. Layer 4 was Glasses. So Layer 5 is the second castle. So they do have to come back to the first castle for Layer 6, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they are going to have to come back to the... So, okay. And another library card. Okay, wait a minute. Swarm needs to wing smash through that pot and grab that library card, actually. Probably missed. It's a 50-50 between missed and the rings right now. It's either Silver Ring or it's Mist. Swarm, you need to grab that library card and you need to go absolutely insano style. Swarm needs to go left side, find Mist at um Find Mist at Creature, and then Library Card back to the first castle, and then somehow go to Grand Floyd. He needs to get this Library Card right now. Wing Smash through the pot. Wing Smash through the pot. No! He's checking these checks, but he's not checking the pot! No! It was so close! Oh... Rip. That's crazy. Swarm missed out on three library cards. Also, the silver ring is right there. And we know Swarm is going left side because it was literally the name of his, his profile before he started the game. The name of the, the save is called left side. So he's not getting that silver ring. Yeah, Swarm kind of got fucked so many different ways. Fire skipped two relics in the first castle, didn't get punished. Swarm only skipped one relic in the first castle, gets super hard punish. Missed out on three different library cards just from the miscellaneous differences in uh, item checks. Like, that's rough, man. Genuinely, just like, the randomizer sure do be random sometimes. 
What's the quickest finish so far? Uh, you should ask your mother. No way that's a library. Holy shit, it's a library card. What the fuck? There's so many library cards in this scene. Hold on. Wait a minute, everybody. We're getting rid of the air quotes. And we're going to parentheses. Because I feel like it's less implied now that Swarm is winning this game. <laughs> that library card is huge. We just need creature to have missed. We just need creature to have missed and fire needs to just outright skip creature. I mean, fire is still winning by a lot here, but there's we now live in a universe where it's technically possible. I think before it was might as well have been impossible without the library card. With the library card, that makes it so much more doable. Might not be missed, could be glasses. Yeah, that is true. It could be at glasses. But it's a 50-50 between glasses and mist, and Swarm is not going to get the silver ring. I'm saying a world where Swarm actually wins this is it needs to be missed at um, creature right here. Even then, Gr Swarm is never coming back to Grand Flume. That's not true. There is a world where Swarm is insecure and goes back and checks Grand Flume. It could happen. Can it be Mystic Glasses? Yes, but that would imply that it's a seven complexity seed where the minimum is six, and most often the minimum is the, the exact amount. Well, that's an alternate win condition. It's not missed, but it's close. It's not missed, but it's close. You know what? It's, I'm less confident now. Both Grand Falloon and Creature having Vlad Relics, by the way, is so cursed. It's so cursed. You know what, actually, the, the squiggly lines don't make sense. We'll give them uh, curly brackets. That That's more like it. Oh! Never mind. <sighs> Never mind. Putting them back in normal brackets. Okay. Normal parentheses. And fire goes back immediately. Well... I mean, fire might skip creature. Because he's probably going to find the final Vlad. But... He's going to be able to full clear the castle, I think, faster than Swarm. Because Swarm is going to find nothing in the rest of this castle. Which is bad. It's guaranteed that Swarm finds nothing. So... Maybe there's a world where Swarm skips Gallimoth, but I doubt it. Swarm opened the, the warp to Castle Keep, Inverted Keep. So he can go do right side pretty efficiently um, if he warps from the warp next to death. It's just that Fire already has the massive uh, Vlad Relic advantage of having checked Grand Falloon. I mean, you know what? Honestly, I'm having a hard time seeing a world where fire doesn't get this, so I'll give him the single quotes. No, wait, this is that's not the correct... Uh, hold on. It's... Uh, there we go. I'm pretty confident. Tribute. 
Thank you, Crispy, for the tier one. Much appreciated. Helping us towards that partner plus. We're almost at 200 points out of 350, so we're getting there. We're getting there. No, I'm saving the, the upside down question mark question mark for for when it matters. I don't think we're there yet. We cock, but maybe. If fire goes back to the second castle and skips creature, then maybe. Prime subs do not count for partner plus. If you need to understand partner plus, that's what exclamation mark PPP stands for. It's for partner plus program. And that command explains everything. Uh, it's pretty wordy, which is why, you know. It's a lot to explain. It's a little complicated, uh, but I need to get the word out there because I talked to some uh, people at Speedrun Coliseum and they told me that like, if you just tell your community to instead of gifting subs, to instead like subscribe at tier three or tier two that you'll end up um oh it is yeah rings well that's actually kind of good because swarm might warp back do right side ah he almost he almost skipped grand Falloon. or sorry the other guy tribute you steal this is souls and make them your slaves. Appreciate the 14 months as well. We have every tier one subscriber counts as one point. Every tier two subscriber counts as two points. And every tier three subscriber counts as six points. So instead of gifting subs, um, it's more efficient by a lot to just sub at tier three because it's cheaper than gifting five subs and it counts as six subs. So if everybody who would normally like gift subs instead subscribe to tier three, uh, we would just we would just have uh, we would just have partner plus pretty much is what was explained to me by my friends over at uh, Spear and Coliseum, which is why I'm making it a, a deal out a big deal out of it now. Yeah, this really just comes down to will fire check um, creature or not. I think he's going to check Silver Ring because it's shared complexity at layer six. So he's going to do it just to be safe. Yeah, all it takes is 59 people subbing at tier three and the quota is filled. Yep. Which obviously is a lot of support. Don't get me wrong. Um but it's it's very doable. Like the, the the community that we have here is definitely like able to do it. Swarm, this is why you do the setup. Holy god damn it. Oh my god. How many times do I have to tell you people about the Gallimoth setup so that we avoid that attack? Jesus. Sign up for turbo because I'm a rube. What does that do for my revenue? Uh, it just means that any ads you would see on the channel, I get the ad revenue for. That's all. I have turbo as well to avoid ads. It only uh, affects ad revenue. Ice cream's so good. Gang, 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 gang. Swarm did a save split? Oh, he's doing my save split idea. Nice. He Swarm stole this from me. This was my save split idea. Or you save before doing uh, the rest of the right side in the caverns. There you go. And it's basically a... Um, Similar to how you would save split for creature, you do the same save split, but in reverse. So, regardless, I'm pretty sure, depending on what fire chooses to do here, will determine whether or not fire gets the 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 full one out of one the full one o, or if it's the the one o in quotes. All right, Fire, where are you going? No shot. He's going... All right, it's it's Jover. GG's. He's going to Creature right away. Wow. That's one way to get to Creature, I guess. Yeah, it's not the worst idea. I've seen people do this route before. I've done this route before. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. The worst part is, is that Swarm is, like, so far from winning this because he needs to go to Medusa 
to get the silver ring and then go back to the first castle. It's so Jover. Fire's not going to die at Clock Tower. He's too good at the game. And Fire has missed too, so his zigzags up through the um, outer wall area is going to be so much better. Swarm forgot he does not have a uh, mist. Yeah, Swarm just made some crazy plays straight up. The forbidden tech. The four Biden tech. <laughs> Yeah, skipping Alchemy Lab was fucking crazy. Literally ins insane behavior. Storm opting not to go to Beezlebub here and instead backtracking. Dude, Fire must be cackling so fucking hard right now. Finding a Vlad Relic at Creature, finding a fucking Vlad Relic at Grand Falloon. He is dying laughing. It's Jover. It's so Jover. It's never been more Jover. Fucking hold on. Hold on. Let me give him the bold italic. Uh, can I? Uh, and underline it. There we go. It's never been more Jover. It like. He's he's already won. Can I make it bigger? Yeah, I got you. Um, there you go. He's already he's winning. He, just give him the one now. Put it in Times New Roman. All right. There you go. He's already won. He's already won. Like, we don't even need to see. We don't need to look at the screen anymore. Swarm, you, Swarm, you need to live. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what he does. He's won already. Stop it, stop it. He's already dead, etc., etc. Let me fix it. We've been memeing too much. Close enough. All right. And just like that, Fire takes game one with a solid 1-0. 3811. GG's. It's Jover. Congrats to Fire. Big W. And we're going to go ahead and start setting up that next run. Everybody, get your predictions in now. If you're watching on YouTube, one, you should subscribe. That We got game two coming up in just a second. This is a great time to subscribe. And uh, join the live stream, twitch.tv slash dragonblitz. I'd love to see you in the chat sometime. Uh, and I'll hopefully see you soon in just a second. Be right back. All right, we're back with race number two. Swarm has decided as a counterpick to go to Lycanthrope. The preset where you start with all the wolf relics and the wolf goes very, very fast. Um, I think this is a fine move. Their race history has gone back and forth uh, as of late. They are both really, really good at this preset. So it's going to be a good match no matter what. It's probably just going to come down to individual routing uh, opportunities as well as some individual execution um, situations. Fire, obviously well known for being good at Lycanthrope, developed a lot of the modern Lycanthrope strats. <clears throat> 
So because of that, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Fire ends up taking this, but Swarm is obviously a fantastic speedrunner in their own right. Kind of got screwed by that last seed, let's be real. I don't think Swarm played bad, but the routing is really what ended up like doing them in. Uh, getting unlucky with library card placements, getting unlucky uh, by skipping Grand Falloon. Uh, Fire had a massive head start uh, by skipping um, Alchemy Lab, stuff like that, so. We'll see if Fire has yet another massive gamble in his back pocket, ready to go, or will this be a more standard race? Not really quite sure here. It really could go either way. Yeah, Fire had a much better uh, drag fight, though, so. If Dark Wolf does come up, both of these players know how to do it, and they're both uh, proficient at it, so I don't think it'll be like a huge uh, barrier like it was for some other races earlier in the tournament. And Fire starting starting off with the standard strat, you double tap right to start running, um, as opposed to using the thrust immediately. Ooh, meal ticket. Because you want to use the thrust here. Fire does it a little earlier than you want to. You want to do it so you run down the slope because you get more speed that way. Yeah, they're both doing it a little early and they lose out on speed because of it, so. You steal men's souls. Chaos Vania, thank you for the tier three. I appreciate that a lot. That means a lot. And we're... Oh, library card start. And Alucard sword. That's actually a fantastic start right now from both players. You love to see it. You know, that tier three uh, helps a lot with the Partner Plus program. Appreciate it. Uh, tier three homies rise up. Uh, right now, tier three subs uh, are the best way to support on Twitch right now as a means of getting me to Partner Plus, where Twitch will just pay me more money. Just straight up. They'll just pay me more money for my subs. So long as we get enough tier threes. That's that's basically the long and short of it. If we get enough tier three subs, um, I will make significantly more money, a life-changing amount of money, and it would mean a lot to me. And all of you guys' subs would be worth more money to me specifically, and Twitch takes less of it, which is nice. It's a silly system. I wish it didn't have to be this way, but it is what it is. Wait, who did the IQ check? Was it Fire? Because he's quite a bit behind. Come on now. Fire out here really put putting all of his money into the Gamba. Is that a permanent change? It's a year-long change, Crispy. So once you hit uh, Partner Plus, you have it for an entire year, and they pay you 70% of the sub-revenue up to an extra $100,000. So at most, I can get up to an extra $100,000 uh, from Twitch. Granted, I don't think I'll be making that much. Uh, I don't think we'll make up to $100,000. Uh, that's mostly reserved for much larger streamers than myself. But it would still be like giving me a 25-ish percent raise just for no extra work. You know what I mean? Which would be huge. So I'm just trying to spread the word about, like, instead of gifting subs, if you want to support, the best, best, best way is definitely a Tier 3 right now. You'd also Tier 3 for multiple months in advance. That's another way. So instead of, um, like, gifting multiple subs, you could do Tier 3 for three months um, in advance. And you get a discount if you sub for multiple months in advance as well. So the ideal uh, subscriber combo is Tier 3 for three months, I believe, or Tier 3 for six months if you really are balling out like that. Anyways, enough about me. And let's get back to the match. Four minutes in, and they find gravity boots at the start. Very interesting. Fire's going to do some... No, it doesn't go for the diagonal gravity jumps here. There are some diagonal gravity jumps you could do that saves a little bit of time. Swarm is definitely kind of messing up here. That movement doesn't save any time at all and costs extra magic. Um, trying to get a little saucy with it, and is losing time because of it. And Fire takes the lead. Yeah, you really need to be incredibly precise with your wolf movement here because we have top-tier... Um, competitors when it comes to wolf movement. It just goes to show that if you're more practiced at moving with the wolf, you can save a lot of time over other competitors. And fire looks to be ahead by about two-ish seconds. So it's not a amazing lead, lead, not a massive lead, but 
We do know that that check was out of logic, by the way. This is uh, something that a lot of people still don't know, especially if you're newer to Symphony of the Night Randomizer. Uh, gravity boots on their own do not count as full flight. Um, flight is specifically locked behind uh, three different um, possible options, especially as far as the in-game logic of flight. Flight works uh, in-game with the normal logic that you either have Soul of Bat on his own, counts as flight, Mist plus Power of Mist, that counts as flight, or Gravity Boots plus Leap Stone also counts as flight. Because in-game, the normal way that you gain height and chain multiple gravity jumps together to have full flight is that you have to have access to a dive kick. And in-game, the game expects for you to have access to a dive kick via a double jump. Because once you've jumped twice, you'll then be able to um, dive kick right afterwards. However, there are other ways you can gain access to a dive kick that are kind of like not in logic. So because of that, um, if you transform and then untransform, you get a, um, a uh, don't mind me, that's just my knee, not like a, a, a bald child showed up. Um, <laughs> so you can untransform from Wolf. Um, to gain access to a dive kick, you can also use thrust swords, and that does give you multiple gravity jumps uh, midair, so. Wonder if the transform strat works with Axe Armor? No. Uh, Axe Armor does not give you a dive kick if you transform into Axe Armor and then untransform. Because uh, it's it's like a different mechanic. I'm fairly certain... Can you even put on the Axe Armor while you're in the air? I don't think you can. I think you're locked out of it when you're in the air. You have to be on the ground to put it on, if I remember correctly. Yeah, Fire's movement is just slightly better and is ahead by, you know, like 10 seconds at this point. Really an interesting idea to counterpick uh, Fire to Lycanthrope because this really is his preset that he, he developed more so than, uh, than others. And interestingly, we're already seeing a pretty big split. Fire didn't get this warp and is instead going straight to Caverns? Swarm did open that shortcut. I don't know how much that's going to matter because I think Swarm needs to go up and do all rocks right now if he wants this route to work out for him. Okay, he's doing it. Good. So... This, I think, is a good idea because right now the the seed is kind of like my intuition about this seed when you find gravity boots and then find um, Jewel of Open is that the seed is trying to tell you that in the caverns, the only thing you're going to find is like Leapstone or whatever gives you access to flight. But you already have out of logic flight. So unless that in logic flight is Soul of Bat, and even then this is Lycanthrope, Soul of Bat's not that much better than just wolf movement. Um, you probably don't need to go to the caverns right away. It's probably more efficient to save the caverns for later. So I actually like what Swarm is doing right now because he has the potential to get, um, essentially skip the layer inside the caverns where you find basically, in my mind, it's going to be Leapstone. And you move on to the next layer because then the seed expects you to grab Leapstone, then go to these flight locations. And Swarm is skipping the middleman and going straight to those flight locations. However, Medusa Shield is found for fire and that is quite nice. Um, Swarm, I don't think, is necessarily in trouble. He has Alucard, Sword. He's doing plenty of damage. Um, he has plenty of armor as well. Honestly, I think he probably just should have used more spells to kill Aurochs quicker, but that's fine. Yeah, I guess there's no guarantee the Jewel of Open is necessarily progression either right away. Uh, it's unlikely, but it's technically possible. So right now, I do feel that Swarm is making the correct decision. However, making the correct decision doesn't mean it's the best decision. Oh, that's a pretty good. That's pretty. That's a pretty good find. That's pretty all right. I've, I've heard that uh, in Castlevania Symphony of the Night, finding the um, Soul of Bat can be quite nice in uh, a lot of scenarios. Um, so that's pretty good. That's pretty. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, pretty good. Ooh, you got to know that you can't do that jump right, right there, Swarm. That's pretty slow. Yeah, we see glasses are flight locked, um, which could just be the, the relic that is the, the next progression that's flight locked. It's very possible. This could be an early second castle seed. However, Swarm is going to have a more efficient time routing all of the other flight locations. So this is Lycanthrope with minimum complexity eight, um, essentially meaning that like you can have a couple of things on the same layer and it's okay. Cause I think there's a total of 10 like complexity steps possible in Lycanthrope or 11 maybe. I forget the, the maximum number. 
It's either 10 or 11. I forget which. But yeah, I think Swarm's route is just going to end up being better. We'll, we'll see. Let's let's go ahead and listen in on a Swarm's perspective, actually, real quick. Rack tunic drop from a stupid little toad. Oh, yeah, he went for the Maria skip. He didn't need to do it because he already killed Minotaur and Werewolf. That's funny, but he would have gotten the Maria skip twice now. That's very impressive. Maria skip is not easy to do at all. I, I barely ever go for it because it's so difficult. And it does look like Fire is checking Merman. He doesn't have the snorkel, so this is a massive time sink because he can't go in the water right now. This is a huge time sink from Fire, and it could just lead to nothing. Swarm yet again. Looks like he's he's getting some big uh big returns here. Heart of Vlad, first random Vlad found. And nothing for fire. That's literally worst case scenario. He spent like four minutes riding the boat. Just to get told no by the goddamn merman statue check. This is why you always skip merman, guys. Ooh, mana prism's kind of nice. I would grab that. Sword of Dawn! My favorite. No, it's too early to give Swarm the, the quotes uh, one. You know what? Here, we'll do this. I got you. Hold, everybody hold. There we go. I'll give him a ghost one right now. It, it lives in a super position between one and zero currently. We're just not sure. Swarm definitely in the lead, but... We'll see, we'll see. Uh, is Swarm gonna go to the caverns now? That's the question, because Fire hasn't found Flight yet. Fire finds the, the J in the mines, it seems. Yeah, finding the J right after going for Mer Merman is tough. It looks like Grand Falloon is intended Flight. Uh, not necessarily. They could have shared complexity between Leapstone uh, at layer zero and uh, Gravity Boots at layer zero. That's technically possible. Um, and it could just be in the library. So Grand Flume doesn't have to have anything. However, I do think this is a good play because we're going to be seeing some Dark Wolf strats here from, um, from Fire. So Fire does get this check out of Logic, which is nice. Um, Swarm, on the other hand, will be able to do the a little bit easier to per... Oh, Pixel Perfect! Damn, fire going crazy. Uh-oh. Messes up. I don't know how much magic he has to, to, to do the backup here. Can he do this? Because he's, he's horizontally locked right now. So he's going to have to do a diagonal. You have to... Yeah, that's tough. Land on the ground, do a grounded diagonal gravity jump. Okay. Okay, maybe not. Okay, I, I think he didn't land, though. I don't think he has enough mana. Yeah, he fell down. You have to reset. You have to reset. Oh, I think he's dead. Yeah, fire new. Damn. Well, we're having a Dark Wolf incident, uh, which does mean that I'm going to increase the opacity. Or sorry, yeah. On this one, it's looking a little bit less ghostly. And actually, you know what?
The zero... It's still there, but, you know... Le less so. It's looking... It It's still 1-0, but, like, just barely. It's, like, barely hanging on to the, the universe in which this is still 1-0 and not 1-1. Doctor Strange cannot find the, the the possible universes in this goddamn un in this multi-vert. I don't watch Marvel. I'm just fucking saying words, man. Like, I'm trying my best out here. Some some Thanos, uh, Ant Man, goes up his butt. Y'all remember that? Just me. All right. Anyways, back to the match. Yeah, Medusa Shield moment. This is why Medusa Shield is such a Good and bad uh, spell. You really just are better off using Tetra Spirit most of the time. It doesn't even do that much extra damage unless you have extra attack already on your, like, like via your equipment. Um, and in Lycanthrope, you have boosted um, intelligence. So most of the time, your Tetra Spirit is going to be doing more damage than the, the actual Medusa spell. So it's just not worth it. And Fire doesn't have Leap Stone. Yeah, Fire is... Okay, well... You know, I, things are looking real rough right now. We're going to get rid of that uh, that opacity right now. We're going to have a solid one here. The zero is, is, is hanging on for dear life, but I, I, I doubt it. I doubt it. There's Leapstone. See, this is why I liked Swarm's route the most, because all of that shit, all of that shit that Fire just went through was for Leapstone. Meanwhile, Swarm said, fuck that shit. I don't need Leapstone. I already have Wolf and I have Gravity Boots, so I can do out of Logic Flight. I don't need in Logic Flight. The only way this might have been worth it for Fire is if he found Bat this way. So by chasing the complexity route linearly like that, Fire ends up at a massive disadvantage. Swarm, on the other hand, going in like jumping around in the complexity chain and honestly kind of like ends up in a really good spot because of it. Yeah, Grand Floon being the intended flight was like honestly best case scenario for, for Fire and that was like rough as it is. Honestly... There was a non-zero chance that the correct play was actually to use the warp in the mines to just leave and come back later. Varda! All right, brother. Like, come on, man. Like, what do you... What do you want from me? The zero can only hold on for so long. The opacity is at... 0.1 right now. The zero is barely hanging on, guys. With every step that Swarm takes, the Zero is getting farther and farther out of this realm of reality. What is fire? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're having another Dark Wolf incident. Not again. Yeah, that's GG's. He has a high potion, however, actually. Hold on. Cool, calm, and collected from fire. Sets it back up. He doesn't have a lot of MP for this. He has to open the menu. Open your menu. Don't forget. He forgot! He forgot to open the menu and put the shield rod back on. And now he's getting comboed. And now he's fucking... <laughs> Literally his last chance. No, you cannot transform into wolf there! You gotta know that you have to mash out the, uh, the shield spell. Ah, well. Say goodbye to the zero. Say just say goodbye to the zero. It's gone. It's fucking gone, man. No, I don't think fire is going to forfeit cuz there's always the chance that your opponent is also struggling at least as equally likely as you are or you just pivot and start going for very risky gambles at this point. Those are kind of your like two options here. Uh, if Swarm Swarm should know not to skip Grand Floon because it could be flight, but he's gonna do it anyways because he's a psycho. And we're finally gonna see what's at uh, Spike Breaker. 
Because Swarm is doing this the, the easy way. Yeah, look at that blind bat. So clean. So simple. It, it's it's so Jover. Yeah, it looks like we're having a Dark Wolf incident. Very, very strange. Probably just lack of practice. And there's literally nothing here. All of this for nothing. All of this for nothing. And he still dies after using his potion, bro. You, That's... All right, we're getting rid of the quotes, dude. We're getting... It's, it's just, it's... Like, I don't... Like, putting a one there doesn't even make sense. It's, it's just Jover. Okay, Swarm is going to Grand Falloon. I think that's the correct play. Fire finally cutting his losses, also the correct play. And in this case, we know it's literally nothing, so that's actually fine. Swarm also saying, you know what? Fuck Grand Falloon. I don't need that Leap Stone and leaves. All right. So actually, we're kind of back. Uh, it's no longer Jover. We're, we're so back. Very strange. Library cards in the shop, but they were quite expensive from what I saw. Were they 12K? To be fair, Swarm was given the go-ahead to essentially... I'll stop confusing everybody. Swarm was given the go-ahead to, to essentially skip with uh, impunity. Is that, that should be enough to buy the library card. You go back and buy a library card after you get that, right? Unless you already have a second one? Do they already have a second one? Fire had two? Okay, maybe Swarm has two then. Yeah, he has a second one. Okay, then never mind. Yeah, 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 that makes more sense. Yeah, 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 all right, that's good. Makes sense. Oh, and Spike Breaker's right here. If fire went this way, wouldn't have had to deal with all the blind Dark Wolf shenanigans. Fire skipped the diamond? Oof. Waiting for the elevator. Definitely slower than just reloading the room, but sure, whatever. Uh, Heart of Vlad was at uh, Castle Keep, if I remember correctly, right? No, sorry, it was um, All Rox's Quarters. Or it was a keep, I don't remember. It's been a while. Nah, we'll keep it at zero. Let's just go back to normal. Let's let's stop messing around with the scores, as funny as that was. It's all good. Yeah, so it seems like the progression for this seed is not amazing. Uh, the intended progression is... Um, gravity Boots into Jewel of Open, into go to Grand Falloon to get Leapstone into getting Holy Glasses. And then Second Castle is probably going to have either the Second Ring, Merman Statue, or Mist. So it's a three-way uh, mix-up. And then they're going to come back and find one of the other relics that they're missing to unlock more of the castle. And they only have one Vlad Relic so far? That's tough. Succubus had um, glasses. Pags.
Fire kind of getting bullied by the, the Flea Riders as well. Swarm first to enter second castle. Oh, there's Heart of Light. It was at the uh, Castle Keep. Okay. I'm glad that my brain works kind of. Yeah, Swarm just has like a massive lead here. Because Fire hasn't done the All Rocks checks yet either, right? It's possible that Fire just skips them all and he's actually like kind of not that far behind because of it, but Swarm is also going left side again. Oh, but Fire misses out on... Uh, oh, he misses out on Bat because of that. So Fire doesn't have Soul of Bat because he never did All Rocks. So Swarm's second castle should technically be more efficient. Fire doesn't skip the cutscene, wants to listen to Shaft talk for a second. Wow. And Swarm is committing to left side. Let's see it. I mean, left side is a, it, it's, it's a thing. It's not necessarily a bad route. It's just that you're kind of hoping that your route is better than the other person's route if they do right side, so. Neither of them have done Alchemy Lab either. Oh, that's so true, Scrimps. Yeah, neither of them have done Alchemy Lab either. That's crazy. So Swarm is missing Leapstone. Fire is missing Bat. This is just kind of a, a shit show, Second Castle, but I think Swarm is going to have a much better time because Soul of Bat is just crazy. Soul of Bat go dummy stupid hard. Yeah, if we have another Gravity Boot situation, this is going to be insane. I don't know if I'm ready for that. I'm not ready for another Gravity Boots incident. Uh, Swarm's MP is not looking too hot right now, to be honest. I think he can't afford to be, like, doing this shit right now. Yeah, you cannot afford to be doing this much Gravity Jumping and uh, Wing Smashing. I don't know. It's not that it, it's not worth it, especially when you have those gold skulls everywhere. I feel like you just fly. You do the old glitch. This is why having a decade of speedrun knowledge is so important because the old glitchless strat, you just flew in bat form and it's actually kind of fast. Like you don't do any wing smashes. You just fly between the skulls and it saves you a ton of magic and it's like faster than whatever the fuck swarm just did. So what I'm saying is these competitors need to have an extra 10 years of speedrunning experience, please and thank you. Just learn the old routes for all the old speedruns of all time. And the best part is, is I'll tell people this and they'll just ignore me. They'll be like, whatever, old man. Ah, Swarm missing out on another Vlad because of going left side. Left side not paying off twice in a row. That's crazy. Creature had um, Gas Cloud, so basically nothing. Left side failing twice in a row never happened before. Is this the first time we see somebody dedicated to the cause of left side and they just get absolutely punished for it over and over and over again? This is tough because like now at this point, I don't think it matters necessarily what they have or haven't done in the first castle all that much. <gasps> Okay, getting hit by the spikes on the floor is better than getting fucking Kamehameha. Bro, you gotta watch your magic, bro. You gotta. This is why y'all gotta play glitchless. You gotta understand MP management. It's like so important. It's so important. Especially if you're committed to left side. Because, like, left side is essentially the glitchless route in most of the time. So you just gotta know how much MP you need for these sections. The Kakmehameha, yes, indeed. Ooh, Fire doesn't have a projectile, but is looping this fool. Perfect loops. Want to learn how to do a motherfucking infinite? Damn, damn. Clean ass fight from Fire. Clean as fuck. You love to see it. I don't do a. F I don't fight that guy that clean. He scares the shit out of me. Oh, 
All right. Another mana prism. I would have grabbed it, but, you know. And an Ares. And another random flat. No! 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 Left side, why? Why have you forsaken me? You're not going to grab the Ares? Grab the Ares. Yeah, grab the Ares. Grab the Ares. Just make sure you don't die after you grab it, but, you know. Dude, this is not okay. I cannot be on record saying you need to go left side. Left side is the new meta. To have Swarm do left side twice in a row and then lose because of it. I can't. I, the, I will not survive. If that's the case. Did Swarm put on the Ares? Okay. I'm, I'm concerned. Dead ass. I am concerned right now. Dude, if fucking Achmedon, no, sorry, if uh, Trio or Beezlebub has like Merman statue, it's so Jover. Straight up, it's so Jover. Two random flats and a progression relic would be so bad. We're hoping for death if we're Swarm fans here. And I kind of want Swarm to win so we can get more uh, more gaming, but, but that's just me. I'm a little biased because I like more gaming. What is... Okay. You're not going to put on Alucard mail? Fire, you have Alucard mail. Put it on. What the fuck? Don't you? This is the worst boss to use this goddamn spell against because the laser beams don't know where to go and they're just gonna fly away. How? Why are I, MP refill glitch? I can't take this shit anymore, man. I can't take this shit. I can't. And now he's using the shield rod to kill this dumbass. When he has so much better damage! Just put on the Alucard or the Dracula tunic! Put on the Alucard sword! Do something! Fucking Ralph Belmont over here with 10 million HP! Watch, this is gonna be missed. Okay, it's just Echo. Oh! That's gonna be missed! That's what I, I called it! See? I said that's gonna be missed! Okay, Swarm's back in this. Woo wee. Is it hot? This is just me. It's getting a little toasty. Ralph Belmont? Yeah, that's his name. You guys don't know that that guy, his name is Ralph Belmont. That's his official title. Swarm is going to skip Gallimoth? Oh, no, he's getting the warp right now. Oh, because that's his out to get back to, to Dracula. Okay, that's fine. I thought he was going to skip Galamoth for a second. No, he's going to go to Galamoth, then library card, it seems like, is his plan, which is why he grabbed it now. That's not a bad idea. Also, Vorpal Blade found for fire. That's actually quite nice. Hopefully, he'll stop uh, just absolutely floundering in some of these boss fights. Because Vorpal Blade is pretty darn good. What up, Reptile? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, the tournament races have been great so far. I'm super stoked to, to be back. We have another tournament race happening uh, on Sun, sorry, Tuesday uh, as well. So if you're watching live right now, you'll definitely be able to hopefully catch the Tuesday race that's happening in two days from now. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date with all of the tournament action. You can also follow the live stream, twitch.tv slash dragonblitz, so you can watch these races live. I'm still using the damn shield rod. Bro, Medusa's shield is straight up copium it's just copium i don't it's good versus like three bosses and now you're poisoned you're not gaining any more you're gonna die you're gonna die to the fleas or the flies okay now you can mana prism to get your mp back i swear to god if i see another shield spell i'm gonna shit <gasps> he drops the soul steal and he fucking dies If only some super cool, smart, handsome streamer 
made a guide to how to kill... Uh, hold on. How to kill... Did I spell tutorials wrong? You get what I'm saying. How to kill... Uh, uh, Beezlebub without taking any damage. If only someone went out of their way to describe a strategy that never fails. Oh, and he's all the way back here. It's, okay, it's Jover. It's so Jover. It's so Jover, man. Power of Mist, rough. So Swarm is definitely we so back right now. Oh no, and he's doing Dark Wolf again. We're st this is an infinite loop. It's an infinite loop. It's an infinite loop. It never ends. It never ends. It never ends. Oh, it never ends. Forever and ever. It never ends. Okay, you made it through. All these squares make a circle. All these squares make a circle. All these squares make a circle. Bro, he's gonna be so mad. He's gonna be so mad when he finds nothing. Ah! <laughs> he's, it's so Jo, it's never been more Jover. He's pissed. He's pissed. Oh my God. The best part is we don't know what's at Beezlebub. We have no clue. Beezlebub could have the other ring. It could have Merman statue. The 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 mist could be nothing. And so far, it's nothing. Bro. You know what? You can go back to having zero points for now. But fire, it's definitely Jover right now. I bet he said the F word. He would never say that. All right, let's see it. So right now, Silver Ring has to be progression of some kind. Or else. Or else I think I'm going to make sure... Or else it's Jover for both of them? Is Silver Ring last Vlad? I don't think there's enough complexity for that to be the case. Because right now the current um, route is Gravity Boots, Layer 1... Or sorry, Layer 0. So Step 1 is Gravity Boots. Step 2 was uh, Jewel of Open. Step 3 was Leap Stone. Step 4 was um uh glasses so step five was missed so they need three more steps did i do that right wait how is that even possible oh yeah because it's going to be rings into merman into final vlad yeah so there is zero bait actually now that i'm thinking about it with that math, this has to be um, a relic at Silver Ring. It has to be. To get to the minimum of eight, because there is a minimum of eight. So it could be uh, Gold Ring into Merman into Final Vlad, or it could be uh, Merman into Ring into Final Vlad. One of those is correct. Yeah, what Scrimps just posted is correct. And Fire, he's just... He's hanging out. He's having a good time. This is very interesting how it's been... A blowout in one direction, and then a blowout in the other direction, as far as these races have gone. So, if they're down to do a third race, potentially we could have a good one? I think we're due. I think we're due for a tight, cool, interesting race. They haven't done Alchemy Lab yet, either of them. Still, actually. I'm getting way ahead of myself. When the fuck are they gonna do Alchemy Lab? Oh, 
Not again. Please, not again. I don't want another Gravity Boots incident. Please, not again. Please, 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 please. Where's Swarm going? Where is he going? He's going to go go to Merman. Go to Holy Gla or Holy Symbol. Oh, no. He's not, he's not going to Alchemy Lab. There's no way he goes to Alchemy Lab from here. He's going to go check on that Holy Symbol, isn't he? You know what? I'm wrong. It's not Jover for fire. It's Jover for us. Because we're stuck here forever, guys. It's Jover for us. Because they're never going to check Alchemy Lab and we're going to be here for 10 million years. This is going to be the first ever three-hour rando race. Yeah, exactly. It's Jover for us, man. There should be a Jover preset. It's tournament nerves, man. It gets to you. You make silly decisions. You start second-guessing yourself. You start forgetting things. You start dying to, to strats that you never died to before. I do think it's very commendable that Fire has not forfeited yet, even though he's died four times in very unceremonious ways. But still. Swarm did check the map, so maybe we will prevent a... Um, Another situation where no one ever goes to the alchemy lab. No, Fire has died four times. He died three times doing Dark Wolf and once to Beezlebub. Fire's not completely out of it. S Swarm would need to skip uh, uh, Vlad Relic and then maybe die. But I doubt he's going to die anytime soon. Like, his levels are really good. Uh... Yeah. He's going to find the final Vlad Relic here at uh, Holy Glasses. And then from there, he should do, hopefully, God. He has another library card or something, and then he just does Alchemy Lab and then library cards. That's the please for my own heart, for my own sanity. Yeah, Swarm does not know that he's ahead, of course. That is part of being in a randomizer race. You have no idea what the other guy's doing, obviously. So Swarm needs to execute from here. It's not out of the question that Swarm messes up or makes like a big mistake. But we'll see. We will see. Calm down, Koyo Kaiba, or whatever the hell your name is. Calm down. It's okay. You can be excited, but you don't need a triple message. All right. Kyo's fine. No worries. It's all good. Um, fire is throwing. Fire's throwing, right? Fire's throwing. Oh, my. Oh, he dodges the the damage from the spikes. That's actually crucial. If he dies again, Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, I forgot Swarm had a fucking Varda this whole time. So funny. Yeah, Swarm's not dying anytime soon. He has a fucking Varda. That's insane. All right, it's funny because Swarm only has two Vlad relics, which means we still don't know where Tooth of Vlad is. Tooth of Vlad is either at um, Beezlebub or it's in the Alchemy Lab. Those are the only two locations. I mean, Alchemy Lab has the highest um, likelihood for sure, but 
There's Eye of Vlad. So Tooth of Vlad is going to be the missing Vlad relic here. And we have no clue where it is. Now, where did a swarm go? He didn't library card immediately. It's either Alchemy Lab or Beezlebub. So either way, it's at Alchemy Lab, if you really think about it. It's just which one. And Fire says, fuck this shit, I'm out. Fair, very fair. I would also say, fuck this shit, I'm out. After dying to Beezlebub, say, screw it. Just move on with your life. Okay, Fire. Doggy sit patiently. And Swarm does check Alchemy Lab. We are not going to be here forever. We we get we get freedom at some point. It's all good. So we're looking to find a Vlad relic here. Assuming we find a Vlad relic here, Swarm probably finishes up in the next like six minutes. Yeah, I don't think Fire believes that he's going to win this race at all. I don't think he has a single bone in his body that believes he has a chance to win. But he's continuing onward, which is respectable. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why is Swarm going this way? It's slower. Just do the elevator room. Freaking any percent runners, man. Any percent runners don't know about the, the elevator in Alchemy Lab. The elevator in Alchemy Lab fast as fuck. And you can um, skip it. So you don't have to ride the elevator down. You can just, like, go through the shaft. It's bees! Bees nuts, dude! Oh! Oh! Bro, it's never been more Jover for fire. Hold on. Let me move this Jover. There we go. Give him, give him a, put it part of his uh, UI here. His sub weapon is it's Jover. Cause it's so Jover for him, man. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's just kind of what happens when you die four times. Like you end up in a, a rough spot. All things considered. Also skipping Alchemy Lab ending up being like the correct play is so funny. If Fire didn't die there, I think he wins this, right? Because he was going to find all of the Vlad relics except for the last one. Meanwhile, Swarm did like six extra checks in the first castle or whatever. I guess it was only two extra, but still. I feel like Fire would have ended up winning this. And he would have skipped Grand Falloon, 100%. Or sorry, he would have skipped um, uh, Gallimoth. Fuck. Because he would have gotten missed at death, and then he would have had four out of five Vlad Relics, so he knew that it couldn't be a Gallimoth. So he would have skipped Gallimoth. I think Fire honestly might have won this if he didn't uh, die. That last time. Dying the three times didn't matter. That last death is actually what cost him. Fire hasn't done all rocks yet. He didn't need. To, he doesn't need to do all rocks because he would have had four out of five Vlad relics. Once you have four out of five Vlad relics, you don't need to do jack shit except for the final Vlad relic. Yeah, that's lycanthrope for you. You could have an absolute insane shit show of a, a seed, and it'll still be over in like an hour and ten minutes at worst. That's one of the reasons why lycanthrope's so nice is that it's never that bad for that long. Oh shit, jizz hand usage from Swarm. Throwing the white stuff on the Medici. Ayo. I thought for a second Swarm was just going to leave without the, the rib of Vlad. That would have been so funny. And then, yes, yeah, Swarm just needs to kill uh, 
freaking Aquamadon, Trio, and then Beezlebub, and then he's done. Finally finds Mist. What does he do with his information? He library cards? Yeah, that's fair. I mean, he's got nothing else to, to lose at this point. Damn. Aquamadon allergic to the jizz, it seems. Dies quite early. Gets the ring of Vlad here, and then final Vlad, we know, is that Beezlebub. And I don't think Swarm is going to die. He has a Varda. So I think he's he's chilling. What? Never not funny to see Alucard get stuck and then just go, what? What does that voice line sound like in the PSP version in uh, Requiem? Fucking Sasuke sounded ass. What? Huh? Uh-oh, Step Dracula, I'm stuck. Something like that. I, I don't I don't know what it sounds like. All right, so we're moving on to Trio. Yeah, honestly, just use Alucard Sword. It's probably good enough. A little bit extra seasoning on these uh, undead warriors. Oh my god, Swarm turning around, swagging on him. He's not using the Medusa spell? I know, he's throwing. Not a lot of MP for Swarm. Hopefully he doesn't mess up the um, the inverted stair room here. Okay, actually, no, he has enough. He has enough. He's fine. Just has to do vertical wing smashes here. Perfect lagless. Yep. Doesn't refill his MP. That's a little bit of hubris in my opinion. You should refill your MP before fighting fucking Beezlebub, man. Because you need MP to get up to his stupid, dumb, stupid face. He has mana prisms, but menuing is slow. I don't know. Like the, it's literally like that is the fastest save room to refill your MP in the entire game. I feel like, and he just opened the menu and didn't refill his MP. So who has mana prisms now? All right, never mind. He has enough damage that he didn't need to refill his MP anyways. Fuck it, whatever. What's the alchemy lab? Nothing. Bro. I mean, it's never been more Jover. Swarm did full clear. That is correct. Yeah. It's pretty Jover. We will see if we have another race coming up after this, guys, so don't worry. We'll stick stick around. We'll, we obviously want to see Swarm finish so we can, you know, confirm that he actually finished the race. I doubt he's going to die. I mean, he's got damage out the wazoo. And we'll see if we do another race after this. It is up to the competitors after all. We've only been doing races for about an hour and a half, um, so we'll see. If they're down to do another one. It is up to them, though, at the end of the day. Because it's whatever they're able to fit within their schedule. I mean, it would be kind of funny, though. I'm not, I'm not saying Swarm is going to die, but it would be kind of funny. I don't think it's going to happen, but 
it'd be kind of funny. I don't even think it'd be possible with a Varda, though. Straight up. Dude, he des destroyed Shaft. Destroying the Shaft like your mother wishes she could. Where is fi what is fire doing? He's just having fun. He's like, fuck it. I like Castlevania Symphony of the Night. This game's fun. I'm going to go run around. He's going to church. <laughs> fire said, I need Jesus on God. On God, no cap. I need Jesus. Uh-oh. Hold on. I said it would be funny, but not that funny. Calm down, Swarm. There it is. GG's. It is now officially. Oh my god, the seed one sucks one. so bad. <laughs> True! The How? seed did suck so bad. How is it that I <laughs> nice uh interruption from Sw and then he dies! Let's go! What a great seed. Alright, let's go figure out if we're seeing another race out of these competitors real quick. Uh let, let me just hop in and ask. Well then. Hey there, uh, just checking in. Are you guys planning on doing another race or are we ending it here? It's up to you guys. Uh, I'm, I'm good to go if the fire is, but no pressure. Whatever works. We could finish it off right now, yeah. <clears throat> Only if you want to. There's no pressure. We don't, we don't need to force yeah. it if you're not feeling it. Yeah, for sure. Do you want to just like take a minute first before you decide? Let's just get it over with. It's okay. Probably for the better. All righty then. Right uh, I'm going to run some ads and then we can set up for that next race. Yep. Okay. All right. You heard it here first, folks. We're going for race number three. Let's go. We racing, everybody. We racing. Be back in just a little bit. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe and then also follow the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash Dragon Blitz. All right. Be back in literally one second. Oh my God. We are back with race number three. And Fire chose to run back Lycanthrope. So we're seeing another Lycanthrope race happen back to back. Swarm just won the last one. And it all comes down to this, baby. All the races before this do not matter. It is now better player wins. Last race, last chance to move on to the finals of this tournament. The winner of this moves on to the finals to face either Scrimps or Dinner Dog waiting on the other side. So this, get hype, everybody. This is one of the last remaining tournaments of the season here. One of the last remaining tournament races of the season, I should say. And so far, basically no damage stacks for Swarm. Fire gets some fire damage stacks. Swarm loses out on the extra MP. Uh-oh. This is a rough start. That's about as bad as you can get without, like, dying, I guess. Fire with five extra MP because he grabbed the cross uh, at the end here. Swarm is missing out on that five extra MP, which means he's going to have to be very careful about going for death skip. If you try and use all of your MP for death skip, you will fail death skip. So he has to use death. He has to be very careful about how he goes about death skip. Essentially, he cannot do the skill of wolf quarter circle forward attack charge move at all. Otherwise, he'll run out of magic. Hopefully Swarm knows that. Otherwise, he might fail death skip. And then that's a massive disadvantage here. Checks his inventory right away. And Swarm is aware he is dashing through the enemies here. We see Death Skip from Fire, pretty much perfect. Swarm waits to refill MP by untransforming. That works as well. Swarm playing it pretty careful to make sure he has enough speed. And he's good, okay. He's definitely behind by playing it safe there, but at the very least, he got Death Skip. That's the important part. Meanwhile, Fire with a pretty big lead, no crazy relics at the start, so the routing is probably going to be pretty static, if I had to guess. And um, let's go ahead and focus in on uh, Fire's audio here, Fire's perspective. As Fire is uh, definitely in the lead, finds a monster vial. Could be quite useful. Maybe some vial stacking in the future. Anti-Venom for uh, iframes, why not? Pick it up, it's not bad. 
And this is pretty much a standard of, of, of a start as you're going to get for Lycanthrope. No overpowered movement early on with like Bat or Gravity Boots or something like that. Almost gets poisoned. Wow. Yeah, Fire's playing serious. Doesn't do the IQ check this time around. Knows he has less, uh, less with wiggle room. I do feel like Fire did play the last seed a little loose because he had a game to play with. That is something that is important to note about best of three is if you go up 1-0, you can get a little silly in race number two knowing, okay, if I lose this race, it's not the end of the world. I still have one more. Um, obviously, you want to win 2-0 just to make things easier on yourself, but it's not the end of the world to, to make it a little close. But yeah, Fire with a pretty astounding lead, all things considered. Fire's wolf movement, I think, overall was better early game. Swarm just had a more clutch early game routing decision. But now the early game routing feels pretty stagnant, right? There's not much you can... Unless they find, I guess, Jewel of Open at um, Spirit Orb. Maybe that'll spice up some routing ideas. But honestly, I don't see it. Nice damage boost from fire. Uh, honestly, a lot of these uh, strat ideas that you're going to be seeing here are fire's strat. Vanilla! That spirit orb was van Guys, I think... Oh, no. Did somebody check the randomizer? Maybe it's... Is it... They might have broke the randomizer machine? Because that's not... Ra I don't think that was random... Because it's not that... Because that's normally there, but... Okay, pretty standard. Uh, opting to go through to outer wall here is is the safe play. Very, very few people risk the uh, skip in logic to go to Coliseum. It's just like not a great value play. And right now, when you're one one, and this is the seed to determine who wins and moves on to the next part of the bracket and to the finals of the tournament, you want to go with something that's a little more standard. I don't think you want to gamble at all on like a super unlikely scenario where like Leapstone is at. Um, outer wall and then like Colosseum is like the next relic that you need. It's very unlikely. Zircon, that's also vanilla. Hold on, I think randomizer machine might have been broken. Uh-oh, fails the doppelganger skip, sets up for a second try. He has enough MP to go for it another try. Jumps a little early though, uh-oh. This is enough time for Swarm to catch up actually. He's gonna have to be careful. Jumps late again. Barely has enough MP to go for it one more time. And Swarm is almost fully caught up. Jumps at the perfect time here. <gasps> but it was still early? No shot. And Swarm gets it first try. Oh my god. The nerves. The nerves are getting to him. He's not that far behind now. But Swarm does take the lead just like that. That's crazy. And now we got Swarm's audio going as the person in the lead here. Although he might not be in the lead for very long because he's also... Yeah, never mind. He's literally throwing. Okay, never mind. Literally didn't matter. Back to fire. What do you... Do? Everybody knows that this check is bad. Come on. The odds are that the relic's in uh, the, the, the library. It's more efficient to do the library first and then do this check. The only time that this check is worth doing right away is if it's gravity boots and then you do library skip, which is pretty unlikely, or it's missed and then you go and do like stuff here in the the the, the library right away. He's trolling. No, he's not trolling. I think he was playing a little bit of hope Soten, where he's just kind of hoping gravity boots was there so he could do library skip. Because library skip is great if you if you're able to pull it off, but. That, that does lose like 30 seconds though, which is bad. <laughs> Zircon D's nuts into Leapstone. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Mana Prism was cheap, it looks like. Ooh, Iron Shield in the shop. They can't afford it though. Fenor as well. Shop looks pretty okay, but basically, I think he didn't buy the Mana Prism. That's strange. Um, maybe he's saving up to tr come back here later or something. He's not getting the J? What are you doing? Brother, it's Lycanthrope. Get the J. Go get the J. Okay, he's getting the J. Thank you. Thank you, Swarm, for getting the J. Get the J. He needs the J. Come on. Fire shield. What the fuck? What a drop. That's pretty good. Okay, well. That's a really good drop, considering there's, like, no combat 
weapons available right now outside of Shield Rod. However, Fire Shield is very expensive. It's only useful for like a handful of bosses. It's not the end of the world, but that is a big advantage for Fire, especially because he already has the uh, movement advantage right now as well. Um, with Leapstone, I guess you go to Castle Keep or you... Yeah, you want to grab the warp. I guess you go Castle Keep, warp to entrance, and then do uh, Coliseum. Or you go Coliseum right now. Those are your two options. I think Coliseum's not a bad play. Because now it's a 50-50 between Coliseum having the relic or Leapstone having the relic. So I would have been fine um, going to Coliseum first and then going through Chapel to get to Castle Keep. I think that's also a fine idea, but it's fine. Swarm did buy the Mana Prism, which is good. So in case of a duplicator comes up, then Swarm will have the infinite Mana Prisms. Fire not doing any of these extra item checks, interestingly enough. There's five items in that room, <clears throat> and uh, Fire skips all of them. I need water. My voice can't handle this shit. <clears throat> Very clean movement from fire, though. Basically untouched here in the uh, clock tower. But skipping all the items. I mean, I like people who skip items. Don't get me wrong. I think skipping items is great. However, if one of those items happens to be a library card... Oh, it doesn't matter. Never mind. Oh, Swarm messes up. Wait, no shot. No shot. Oh my god, he almost made the comeback of a lifetime by dive kicking off of the giant skull. That would have been so sick. That would have been so sick. All right, we have at least one library card in the seed. Yeah, no library cards here, which is what I was worried about. Yeah, fire's movement is uh, straight fire right now. On God, no cap. Oh, he's going for the, the wolf movement here. Oh, oh, it's so clean, and it's nothing. I would have won this race because I would have went to Coliseum. Damn it, put me in my own tournament, god damn it. <laughs> He's not going for the flea ladder? Come on, you got a flea ladder at least once. For the homies, flea ladder. I'm not coping, you're coping. Swarm is getting bullied by the Harpies right now. Fire has a pretty massive lead. Swarm does check this item, and it's nothing. I would have lost the library card. It's library card, schmyberry card, library card. Nobody cares. All you do is eat hot chip and library card. Fire does find a diamond. That is quite nice considering the mana prisms are in the shop that are pretty cheap. So I think that pretty much gives them access to infinite mana prisms at this point. More mana prisms than they would ever need. See, this is why it sucks though, because now what are you doing? What are you doing with your life? Look at this shit. You're going through Alchemy Lab again with no means of checking the checks. Wait, is he going to do... No shot he's going to do it. If he does it, I'm going to cry. If he does the check using the um, the, the double jump reset, I'm going to cry. Tears of joy, of course. If fire goes for the double jump reset. Meanwhile, Swarm going for the flea ladder gets a bad pattern, though. I don't think you could set up after you kill that many fleas. Yeah, that's tough. <gasps> he's doing it! He's doing it, but he's doing it the slow way. Okay, it's fine. Uh-oh. Does he give up? No, he keeps going for it. Yes, 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 yes. Do the jank. Do the jank. Do the jank. He's not high enough. I love randomizer. Have I ever told you guys that I absolutely love randomizer? This is literally giving Swarm time to catch up. And I think Swarm's going the correct way, by the way. I think you just skip Alchemy Lab, but that's just me. This check is going to take like an extra minute. And he's going to find nothing and it's going to be fucking fantastic.
I think Swarm is doing this. Oh, he doesn't have enough height now. I don't... What is Fire doing? What is he doing? I... Oh, there he goes. Now he's gaming. I mean, if you've never practiced this before, understand it's not as easy as it looks. The timing can be quite specific with these double jumps because you want to maximize the amount of time you're not transformed as Wolf. However, you do risk the chance of like not getting enough height on the double jump if you do that. So... Swarm also does not have Jewel of Open, but still goes to the blue door anyways. Everybody's spaghettis. Spaghetti for everybody. And what do we find? Nothing! Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Woo! I love Randomizer. <laughs> oh, and the funny part is, is that, like, Swarm is now definitely in the lead. But it's not that bad. I think Fire is going to end up not doing the Alchemy Lab uh, return, though. Like, there's no shot he goes back to Alchemy Lab just to check that one location that he's missing. So that could end up saving him some time later. But in the meantime, Swarm is definitely in the lead. But not that bad. Alucard, ooh. And oh, that's rough. Leapstone at cast or at library into Jewel of Open here. Like I said, I would have won this race because I would have went Coliseum first. I'm just saying, it's not a bad idea. We do Coliseum first when we find Leapstone at uh, Spirit Orb, so why not do it when you find it at uh, this fucking uh, library? Chakram for Swarm? Nobody cares about a Chakram. Chakram's doo-doo. Eh, it's all right, actually. I shouldn't be talking that much shit. There's an attack potion, too. I'm surprised they don't try and use it, maybe. That's an interesting strat from Swarm, but, you know, makes it out all right. They're both doing the glitchless strat, punch Minotaur around. Perfect fight from Fire. Fire honestly made up a lot of time just then. The question is, where did they go now? Probably to the caverns. Probably. I don't see a world where they don't. Oh, no, Swarm. What are you doing? You just got to fall down. You just got to fall down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And just like that, it's pretty much back to even, baby, and I love to see that shit. I don't know why Fire transformed there. It's definitely not faster, but you know. He's like three seconds ahead at most. It's so close. This is definitely the race of all time, and it determines who goes on to the finals. One of these players is getting top two in the tournament, guaranteed, after this race. Possibly winning the whole thing. That's the fucked up part. You might be looking at one of your uh, tournament winners right here, right now. Meanwhile, this shit's happening, and it's beautiful. It's great. Randomizer makes us all look like we've never played this game before. Because in a certain sense, we have never played this game before. We haven't played this particular seed. That's the whole point. It's fucking random. It is the great equalizer at the end of the day. And again, I've said it many times throughout this tournament, I'm allowed to make fun of these players. You guys, however, not allowed to make fun of these players because they would dust your ass so quickly, clap them cheeks up, not even close. I, on the other hand, run the tournament, so I'm allowed to talk shit. I, I'm the one that put up my own money to, to run this tournament, so I'm allowed to talk shit. What the fuck was that lag? I forgot. If you transform in a specific spot as Wolf there, it just lags like crazy. Something to do with the, the, the Wolf's butt touching the, the side. It's weird. Yeah, sure. Another monster vial. Why not? And an opal. Not bad. And fires in the lead because he didn't check any of the items. 
It's so freaking close, guys. Genuinely so freaking close. Tetra Spirit. Probably the correct play. Ice Brand coming out from Swarm with no Tetra Spirit. I think you want to do at least one Tetra Spirit, personally. But, you know, still not terribly far behind. But nothing found. So they have no out of logic uh, checks found yet. At the very least, they got the Holy J. That helps a lot. So now that they're in the caverns, they could at least move through the water quickly uh, if they decide to do Merman Statue. Uh, if Merman Statue comes up and they decide to do the Holy Simple Check. So it's not that, it's not that bad. I can't wait for the new meta where people start skipping fucking Scylla for no reason. That, that meta is going to show up in like two years and everyone's going to be like, yeah, dude, just skip Scylla, bro. It's so slow. That's, I can't wait for that day. Oh, they're literally tied. It's even. But Fire knows the strat. That saves like a dummy amount of time. This is why counterpicking Lycanthrope might have actually been the correct play from Fire all along. Fire also still has the Fire Shield, by the way. Ice Brand, I think that's not very effective against uh, Scylla, but it doesn't really matter. And it's nothing, but Gas Cloud picked up anyways. I guess it is a nice utility relic. Oh, that movement was so clean. And they're neck and neck. It's it's never been closer. We'll see if the Alchemy Lab check that Fire did earlier comes up. I doubt it. They're, they're doing all sorts of item checks. I think they're kind of desperate for damage right now, which is fair. The seed is not giving them very many options. Fire doesn't want to use the... Um... Do they skip it? Fire goes for the skip here. This won me a tournament skipping the fucking merman statue. However, Swarm can swim up the waterfall, so he's not out of this, but this is where it comes down to this probably. This is probably the one decision that determines this race, unless the seed gets even wackier. Hopefully Swarm knows how to swim with the wolf. It's nothing! Swarm, you have to know how to swim with the wolf. You gotta swim up the waterfall, brother. He's gonna have to know how to swim up the waterfall. He keeps on transforming. Oh no, he doesn't. I don't think he's, I don't think he knows. Where's he going? Okay, he's going back. So I think he does know. He's just not using the, the wolf movement correctly right now. It's gravity moves. An entire tournament has been won by skipping the Merman statue location. And it looks like yet another tournament might be won because of skipping the Merman statue location. Oh, Swarm, you got it. You got it. Oh, oh, he's swimming up the waterfall, but he's he's doing it kind of slow. That's not good. You have to do this weird claw technique where you like hold the controller. You tap triangle and jump while holding up. So you're like doing this to swim up as quickly as you can. It's pretty awkward. And ideally, you also want to leave the water and then come back, but... Oh, God, wait. It might have just gone from Jover for Swarm to Jover for Fire, because he's going back in it! Dark Wolf, attempt number 12! He finds the per pixel perfect position. He composes himself, does the gravity jump, does the spell... I don't know why he transforms into wolf there. You don't need to transform into wolf. It's literally worse for you. You run out of iframes whenever he gets it first try. Holy shit. My God. Secret boots. He's tall as fuck now. And he finds silver ring. Okay. He doesn't even check the other item. He doesn't care. Wow. Wow. Okay. Does Fire choose to skip Grand Floon? Honestly, I think you should skip Grand Floon because you know Swarm is going to skip Grand Floon. 
like Swarm is unfortunately, uh, he has kind of flanderized his own strategy by being very forthcoming with always go left side, always skip Grand Falloon. And by doing so, it makes it very easy to counter pick him, but Fire doesn't do it anyways, it's fine. I personally would skip Grand Falloon because it's like, I know Swarm is gonna skip Grand Falloon. So if I skip Grand Falloon, I'm safe. Worst case scenario is we both miss something and then we worry about it later, right? But Fire does have a massive lead here. Also, no Vlad Relics found yet, so that's also fair. Maybe you're just worried that you're going to miss out. Oh, the Fire Shield does also make sense because you're going to absolutely melt this dumb, giant pile of bodies. Yeah, Fire Shield is insane for this boss fight. It's Swarm's turn to do Dark Wolf here. Every time we've seen Swarm do Dark Wolf uh, in a tournament match, he's done it pretty much flawlessly, so... Yeah, finds the pixel very quickly. He likes to do the pause buffer method. Nothing at Grand Falloon, by the way. Fire not using the library card, even though there's no reason to stay down here. I think Swarm's going to use their library card as soon as he can, right? Because, like, what's Fire doing? Like, what's the plan? Merman statue. No shot. He goes back for Merman statue. Merman statue into castle entrance, I guess. But that feels so bad. I think fire's throwing. Swarm's using the library card. This feels like the correct play. Especially because Swarm is so dedicated to skipping Grand Falloon. Oh my god. I think. Swarm just took the lead. It's it's tough to it's tough to call, but I think Swarm just took the lead. He's gonna get a ten bajillion um um mana prisms right here, and all the he can get Maulblung if he wants to. He can get Iron Shield, which is fantastic damage. He should just snap by yeah Covenant Stone Iron Shield. God's Garb. What are you a pussy? Okay, Iron Shield, Iron Shield, Iron Shield, Fire Shield. What is wrong with you? Just play Glitchless once in your life. Just one time play Glitchless. You don't need 5,000 mana prisms. You need like 20, max. Iron Shield is like literally 10 times better than Fire Shield in like 99% of scenarios. Oh my. I hate it here. I fucking hate it here, brother. I'm out of water again. This is why we can't have nice things, man. And then fire's gonna find nothing and then go to entrance afterwards. I, I don't. I mean, fire does have an extra library card. So. We'll see. Fire's movement's so clean with the wolf, though. There's a non zero chance fire still has this, actually. I think Swarm is going to a higher density of locations a little bit quicker than fire's able to. But. Fire's movement's still really clean, and I don't think he's making necessarily bad decisions. But they're not great. <clears throat> okay, finally, a, uh, a random Vlad is found for Swarm. Yeah, I think Fire is definitely going to do Entrance and then probably the one Alchemy Lab check that he missed, and then maybe he'll do Forbidden Route after. That'd be interesting, but I doubt it. Mm. Yeah, understandably, you don't want to miss out on uh, random Vlads. Ooh, Power of Sire, not bad. Yeah, Swarm is basically now doing the same checks, but Fire hasn't done Fire of Bat yet. Never mind, Fire is not doing... He's not doing the other Alchemy Lab check. Interesting. Uh, that might bite him in the ass. Because Swarm is going to do that check. If there is a random Vlad 
or like Gold Ring at Alchemy Lab, I think it's so Jover at that point. A very unlucky situation for sure to skip that location like that, but that Alchemy Lab check has to be flight. No, it doesn't. They already have flight. What are you talking about, crazy? They got Leapstone into Gravity Boots, so they already have flight. So I'm putting on the Covenant Stone, increasing uh, some damage. So, Swarm's perspective right now, this is going to determine if Fire instantly loses or not, I guess. Maybe not instantly, but it, it's it's a tough comeback. It's nothing. Okay, so Fire is safe. And I think Fire now technically has a small lead. He hasn't done Fire of Bat, but he can remedy that whenever. This is close. They're both skipping stuff. Swarm skipped Grand Falloon. Fire skipped uh, that one Alchemy Lab check in that really weird way. And hasn't done Fire of Bat yet. Fire did Fire of Bat just now. Oh, yeah, he has the ring. Okay, you're right. So then in that case, they're even on checks. And I think actually Fire's in the lead technically. There is still the issue of Colosseum and the um, Gravity Boots location. Ooh. Wow, Merman. Flight locked? Interesting. Well, that's actually kind of good for Fire because he's going to go to Merman, and then from there he can check... Um... Oh, yeah, you go to Merman right now. This is actually really good for Fire because he can go to Merman right now. If it's Gold Ring, he goes to Holy Glasses and is able to get the Gravity Boots check out of the way and then can do um, Coliseum right afterwards. Like, it, it's the route, like, builds itself. He has to go to Outer Wall, though. Okay, maybe he's doing this check because he's scared and then he's going to do Forbidden Route. Or he's just going to do Forbidden Route because he's a psycho. He dropped his controller. Honey on the controller. He changed his mind. Yeah, he said, fuck it. I'm skipping that shit, and I meant it. This is tough. I think Fire's route is going to be better. Mo most likely, Fire's route ends up being better here, because even if it's, like, glasses or mist at um, uh, the, the merman, sorry, the holy symbol location, I feel like Fire has better routes afterwards, right? Because if it's missed, then you can do all rocks quarters and then combine that with the silver ring check. If it's glasses, you can go and take the all rocks warp to castle keep. So either way, I feel like this is the correct play and fire's route is going to end up pretty good because of it. Meanwhile, Swarm is doing a lot of extra checks that may not matter right now. Although he might find a bunch of random Vlads, so it's not the end of the world. He's going to be warping, skipping all rocks quarters and then going to castle keep, it seems? Not bad. That means Swarm basically gets the same benefit from this route, except he has an extra warp. But that warp kind of doesn't matter. So I think Fire's route is still definitely more efficient because of that. Very interesting. Ooh, Swarm kind of struggling with the wolf movement. And now we have a very long boat ride to think about our lives, think about our, our decisions that we've made, our life choices, say hi to the pot roast. This is definitely an interesting seed. I, do, I don't hate it. It's very unique. I don't think I've really felt like I've played a seed like this before in the past. Hopefully with that opal, maybe they find another library card and Storm actually buys a goddamn iron shield. For fuck's sake. Fire still has a library card, actually. Hold on. Fire's winning this by a lot, actually. I forgot about that. No, Fire's winning this by a lot. It's Holy Glasses. So he's going to be able to do the second castle checks and then library card back to the first castle way more efficiently than Swarm. 
And like I said, this route is really good for that. Because now, Fire gets to do um, the uh, Gravity Boots check, the Coliseum check, and then get the All Rocks Warp so he can come back and do Glasses later if he wants to. Like, this is just straight up insane. Yeah, Fire's route is looking real nice right now, and I think Swarm just... The library card that he did earlier was was good for the time, but ended up being kind of bad in late game. And that's the thing about early library cards is like they can bite you in the ass. Fire, what are you doing? He just put the controller down again. Is this controller messed up? Is All Rocks worth checking right now? Not really. You're going to come back to the first castle anyways. Honestly, I don't think it's worth doing All Rocks right now because you're guaranteed to come back to the first castle after doing some second castle checks. And if it's missed in the second castle, that means you can combine All Rocks with Silver Ring and it's way more efficient that way. Because essentially at this point, you're trying to do checks as efficiently as possible and skip the things that are less efficient than your opponent is willing to skip, essentially. And on top of that, you need to get a baby amount lucky, a tiny amount lucky. So, but yep. Fire gets to do like what I was talking about before. Here, gravity boots check taken care of because it's on the way. Ends up being nothing. Whatever. You can do some item checks if you want to. Maybe another library card. Oh no, it's a covenant stone. Yeah, Swarm has already done these checks, so he doesn't get the same level of um, efficiency out of because he's gonna find holy glasses and he's gonna be like, "Fuck, what do I do?" I guess he can just warp directly. Actually, he can just go through the mines and then use the mines warp to go to Castle Keep. That's not bad, because he already has the All Rocks Warp. So, actually, it's still close. The main difference is the library card, now that I think about it. So, Fire's route is fine. Swarm's route is also fine. The only difference is that Fire has one extra library card. And Fire's ahead, too. On top of that, because Fire's getting this warp and then going to... What are you doing? Why? What the fuck are you going to find at All Rocks that you want right now? Soul of Bat, I guess. Let him cook. Let him cook, chat. Let's see. Maybe it's... Maybe he knows something I don't know. Let him, let him Joel. I don't know, man. Power Sire. Monster Vile. Vile Stacks. That's a g g g g g g glitch in my tournament? He's cooking too hard. He's overcooking. He's burning the meal. Who let this man's in the kitchen? He's using the Alucard sword. That shit does worse damage than your fists. You're going to stack them vials all the way up. Meanwhile, Swarm, on the other hand. Probably not doing all rocks. Is Fire dyslexic? Does he not know how to... Is there like a reading thing where he thinks that that is the Alucard sword? Because Alucard, it's like a joke version of the Alucard. Maybe he's never seen it before? Because that's like a knowledge check thing. Like, a lot of people don't know this, but Alucard is different from Alucard. It's kind of like a joke uh, weapon kind of thing. Where it's not nearly as good. So maybe that's... that's um... Yeah, and Fire is all the way over here doing bullshit for no reason on God. Meanwhile, Swarm is just going to the second castle, and I think Fire does have the library card, which makes this more efficient for him to come back. Meanwhile, Swarm is just doing a, in my opinion, better... No fucking way. We let him cook, chat. And he came out with a fucking gourmet meal. What the fuck? What are the odds? It looked like progression 100% was in the second castle. But we forgot that it could just be Spike Breaker up in that bitch. And it, Mist can be anywhere. And just like that, Fire, I think, just, just fucking... Just, he, he cooked so fucking hard. 
Yeah, that's sh that shared complexity, but well, technically not because the way that complexity works is it's based off of the furthest complexity uh, relic that you find for a given check. That's definitely the final Vlad. So the idea is that he found Mist, which isn't actually the thing that grants the additional complexity. It's actually Spike Breaker because Spike Breaker is also required to do this location in Logic. However, you can do that location out of Logic by just taking advantage of iframes. So because of that, um, he just just gambled insane. It's like, it's not even like going to a roulette table and putting it all on black. He went to a roulette table and said, put it all on uh, black 15 and it fucking hits. Like that is astronomically low odds for not only Mist to be flight locked, but to be flight locked right next to the location where you want it to show up. Put it all on green zero, baby. Holy shit, dude. Wow. And of course, Swarm is going to do left side. And the fucked up thing is, if he finds Gold Ring, I think... Odds are that Gold Ring just leads to Spike Breaker, right? Because what are the... Let's, let's, let's do some counting. We had Leapstone into Jewel, into Gravity Boots, into Merman, into Glasses, into Blank, into Spike Break. No, Spike Breaker is in the second castle. That or it's nine complexity. So either Swarm is going to find Spike Breaker here. Wait, this is illegal? What are you talking about? Wait, Swarm's not doing left side? Is that what you're saying is illegal? Yeah, hold on. Wait a minute. Swarm. Doing. He done. He done. He, he lied. He said he was going left side. He lied. Maybe it was all a dream. Also, Swarm is kind of struggling with... If you had just bought the goddamn Iron Shield, you wouldn't be out here fucking around with an Ice Brand in the second castle. Like, come on, brother. It's top four. Oh. He finds another Vlad Relic. And Fire has the library card, too. This is so rough. Fire has the final Vlad, has a library card. He doesn't even need to use the library card, most likely. Like, what does he need to use that library card on? Like, what's left in the first castle that could, I guess, maybe another random Vlad at Soul of Bad, I guess? But, like, he might not even need to use that library card. Storm got a library card in reverse keep. Is that true? I missed it. Okay. Then in that case, it's not that bad, but it's pretty bad. Fire's not going to go left. He, I don't think he's going to do that knowing that he has the final Vlad. I think he's going to play it pretty safe here. I can't believe he found fucking Mist there, dude. I said let him cook, and he fucking cooked, bro. Oh my god. That's insane. Swarm. For the love of all... Humanity. You have a fire shield. You bought the fire shield. You spent money on the fire shield. And his ass is getting suplexed by goddamn Aquadon. Fucking SPD'd, thrown into another dimension. The rando brain got to him. Swarm was doing so insanely well. And I, honestly, I genuine as much as like, obviously not finding that last five relic is like insane. Like fire got super lucky in that regard. But like, he's also just shooting himself in the foot by choosing a suboptimal loadout for these boss fights.
like you just gotta know that Iron Shield is cracked.com uh, uh, slash forward slash subscribe forward slash um, youtube.com slash Dragon Blitz subscribe youtube.com slash Dragon Blitz daily subscribe twitch.tv slash Dragon Blitz follow the, the channel like you gotta know that it's insane click the bell etc cetera, etc cetera. like you and then he bought the fire shield and he hasn't used it once fire got a fire shield randomly and look how fast that was Swarm could have used the fire shield on that motherfucker and he would have just evaporated. Instead, he got thrown three times. <laughs> what am I supposed to say, dude? If he forgot he had fire shield, that's like unfortunate and it does happen. That's But that's rando brain. This is why doing three, three seeds back to back can fucking melt your brain, dude. This is why I tell people, like, you don't have to do the third seed if you don't want to. We can reschedule. You can take a nap, recharge, have a snack. Damn. Fire just bit the fuck out of that skeleton. We could have a creature incident. I doubt it. Well, actually, fire depend. Now, here's something that's interesting. If Swarm finds another Vlad Relic here on the right side, does Fire skip Creature? Probably, right? Did we end up with a Creature incident? Does Fire get baited and use the Library card instead of checking Creature? Swarm still does have some outs. But boy, oh boy, are they unlikely. And his ass is swinging... The Ice Brand, a B-tier weapon at best. Meanwhile, he started with a goddamn shield rod, and there was a fucking iron shield in the shop. Like, what the fuck, dude? I'm so mad. I'm not going to get over it. Well, there's Soul of Bat. That's nice to have. What did they find at um, Spike Breaker again? Was it nothing? Or was it Silver Ring? I forget. It was Silver Ring. So... Wait a minute. Spike Breakers at Holy Glasses, maybe? Hmm. Very interesting. Shout out to Fire using the fire shield. It's very expensive, but boy, oh boy, does it just fucking nuke the screen. I don't remember if they found Echo. This seed is weird. I, I'm losing my brain cells the longer the seed goes on, so it, it's hard for me to remember what's been going on. Brother, you got the fire sh He He deadass forgot that he has the fire shield. He deadass forgot. He deadass on God no cap forgot. For real, for real. Oh, no. And he got poisoned. Oh, no. He can't see the, the worms on the ground. He's losing to a boss that has zero attacking moves. Oh. Beezlebub just stands there. He doesn't have any attacks. He just drops grubs and drops flies. Well, well, well. Maybe we, perhaps we see a creature skip? We need a world where Swarm goes to creature... But fire does it? And then fire somehow gets baited into going to the first castle again? But I just don't think it's happening, right? The the bone was at Silver Ring, which you need mist in order to get, and fire found mist at just like the most random location. 
Swan has fucking 500 goddamn mana prisms. No iron shield. Think of all the time you're saving by having 30 mana prisms you're not going to use throughout the seed instead of buying an iron shield. It's crazy. So much time saved. Is fire really behind? No, fire is winning this by a long shot. The only world fire can lose this is if he skips creature. Creature has the final Vlad relic, uh, the or the unknown Vlad relic uh, from our perspective. And fire doesn't choose to... Okay, that's step one. He is skipping creature. Step two is Swarm needs to find a Vlad relic here, which is a one in five chance. 20% chance. Honestly, less than 20% chance, actually. He has a less than 20% chance to find a random Vlad Relic here. Because that is his win con. Let's see it. Come on, baby. No spaghetti. No, that's worst case scenario. He's going to library card. He's going to find Spike Breaker. He's going to find Spike Breaker and he's going to be very confused. Ugh. Fire wins straight up. It's Jover. It's Jover. He's going to find Spike Breaker and be like, what the fuck? Where's Mist? And Mist is just fucking random, dude. That's crazy. Honestly, I don't even think Swarm played bad. I really don't. Because even if... Yeah, because it looks like the final Vlad Relic, even if it's not in the second castle, that means it has to be at Soul of Bat. And Fire has the 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 goddamn goddamn. He's got uh mist. And Swarm doesn't. And I think Swarm is out of library cards too. Wait, did Fire do Soul of Bat check? No, he didn't. Yeah, so it might be Soul of Bat. If Swarm finds a library card somehow, finds Mist, does Silver Ring, and then library cards to do Bat, and then finds the Relic? Does he have enough time to do that before Fire finishes the second castle? Resets, does the save split, checks uh, Creature... Hold on, there's there's a world. There's a world, but it has to be at bat. It has to be at Soul of Bat. If the last Vlad Relic is at Soul of Bat, I think Swarm has a chance. Right? Because Fire's probably going to check Creature before checking Soul of Bat. Because he did the safe split. Unless he's like, fuck it, I'll use my library card now and just check that and then do the save split. That's actually very possible. Fire might actually use the library card after Gallimoth and then use the save split. Which is bad for Swarm. But still might be best case scenario. Because Swarm is in the first castle. He's going to find Spike Breaker here. Wait, what? Was that a random Vlad? Holy shit, what the fuck? That was a random Vlad! That's not split com that's not split complexity because that's less complexity than Silver Ring. Right? Wait, no, it's the same. It is split complexity. Oh my god. What? what the fuck swarm go do go do what you must do go to all rocks believe in yourself go to all rocks no 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 what the fuck it's jover for fire 
No fucking way. It came down to Creature and Fire lost because he skipped Creature because he found Mist before he went to the second castle and he found the final Vlad, but actually there were two final Vlads and it was shared complexity because fuck this game, the randomizer's fucking stupid. He's not checking Silver Ring, what the fuck? Oh, it's because he forgot. I can't handle this shit, man. I can't handle this shit. This shit's for finals, bro. This shit is for finals. How the fuck does he check sword card before checking goddamn all rocks? Why is he even checking all rocks at this point? Well, I guess it's because he thinks it's a random Vlad, actually. Holy shit, bro. Holy shit, bro. I can't. I fucking can't, man. All right, let's 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 compose ourselves, everybody. Get it together. Everything's going to be okay. You steal men's souls. Lynn, I'm sorry. How not? How? I'm sorry. How, what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lynn. What was that? You just subbed it at tier three for six months in advance? Well, that helps us a lot towards Partner Plus. Thank you. Holy shit. Thank you, Lynn. Holy shit. God damn. Tier three, gang, rise up. Uh, use the tier three emote. Uh, what is it? What the fuck is my tier three emote? It's the Dracula one. Uh... Tribute. You steal men's souls. Thank you, Blind Spot, for the sub at tier one. There it is. Let's see some pile of secrets for my secret emote. Let's go, tier three gang. Much appreciated, guys. Swarm even showing off. He didn't need to do that. He uses the iframe. Wow. Straight up. I cannot believe this shit, bro. I cannot believe this shit. You know what's crazy? Is Fire went to the casino, put it all on 15, they spun the wheel, and it hit. Swarm went to the casino, put it all on fucking double zero, and it hit twice. Like, come on, dude. This is the most insane set of circumstances I have ever fucking seen, dude. For the last Vlad to be shared complexity in this, like, insane way with Mist being, like, available early. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. There's no fucking way, man. No, it was shared complexity scrims. It was shared complexity between Silver Ring and Holy Glasses because Spike Breaker was in the second castle and the final ring was in the second castle. They were both in the second castle and it branched off into the final complexity layer of eight, which is insane. Oh, wait, Bat was in the second castle. Actually, you're right. Wait, hold on. Oh, shit. I don't know how to count. It wasn't shared complexity. God damn. I can't believe it came down to fucking Creature. Creature legit had the goods. Creature was a random ring. What in the fuck, dude? Swarm does have... Did he buy anything when he went to the... He didn't go to the... Did he went to the shop? Did he buy anything? Please, for the love of God, tell me he bought a fucking iron shield. I swear to God, if he didn't buy a goddamn iron shield. This scene was insanely complex, by the way. Like, th that's wild. I swear to God, if he fights Dracula with a goddamn ice brain, I'm gonna scream.
Fire just chilling in the shop, buying some fun stuff. Oh, gets an Iron Shield. That's cool. Iron Shield's pretty good, I heard. Some guy told me the Iron Shield's pretty good. Have you guys heard the Iron Shield's pretty good? Iron Shield's pretty good. Yeah, Fire's going to check here first because he thought he got the final Vlad. I thought he got the final Vlad. I mean, Silver Ring is layer 8, though, right? We counted that correctly, didn't we? It was... I forget what the seed was at this point. I'm pretty sure... Silver Ring was still layer 8. Does that mean that Holy Glasses was layer 9 somehow? He's using fucking Chakram. He's going to go to the finals of the tournament and he's out here using Chakram? I can't. I can't handle this shit, bro. I can't handle this shit. Any Chakram enjoyers? Speak up now. Maybe with a tier 3 sub? I don't know. <laughs> Fuck, man. Thank you all for all the support, by the way. This has been a fantastic tournament series. Streaming recently has been really, really nice. Everybody's been very nice about the Partner Plus thing, and I really do appreciate it. Uh, Partner Plus is very silly. The fact that gifted subs don't count sucks. But everybody's been very, very kind and like supporting regardless, and I really do appreciate it. Yeah, this is looking like a two cycle, most likely. Speaking of tier three, I guess Lusanio is a big fan of Chakrams over here. Thank you for the tier three. I appreciate it. It's crazy. Tier threes are worth six points, but they cost less than gifting five subs. It's weird. There it is. Very slow two cycle, but a two cycle nonetheless. Yo, Sub GG. hour. GG's. Am I going to fight a final How? Vlad? How? How? That is crazy. I, I don't know what to say. Uh, GG's to both competitors. Uh, let me hop in the, the race and ask them some stuff, actually. Hey, big goose. Yo, DB. Yo, <laughs> GG's to both of you. This was quite possibly the race of all time. I don't know. I was screaming the entire time. I'm losing my voice. You guys need to watch this back. Yeah, that was a seed. That seed was insane. The whole time, we thought that Fire had a massive advantage by finding um, Mist randomly at Sword Card and then checking Silver Ring, finding a Vlad Relic, and we're all like, oh, that's the final Vlad. It has to be. Turns out, no. <laughs> Turns out there was, I think, split complexity between the final Vlad at uh, Holy Glasses and yeah, Silver Ring, which yeah, is ins split. insane. Because And because of fire, I'm per fairly certain the only reason you skipped creatures because you had four Vlad relics before going to creature. Yeah, and creature yeah. has the fucking ring. It, it's insane. It's just insane. <laughs> what a crazy scene. I got so literally lucky. I fuck, man. It was. It looked like the luck was going back and forth in the weirdest ways possible. Because I was like, "There's no fucking way Fire finds the one in a million missed out of nowhere, and then finds the final Vlad." And then it turned out it didn't even matter. It, it straight up one of the craziest seeds of all time. Um, yeah. I wanna. I wanted to join in and say, one, you guys did amazing. Thank you for this fantastic race. First off. Second off, uh, congratulations, Swarm. You moving on to the finals? Thank you. Thank you. GG's fair. That was yep. that was JJ. Insane. Thank you so much for joining the tournament fire. Uh you you made quite a run for yourself, all things considered. And honestly, uh, I man, I wouldn't be too upset that with your performance. First, like, and raise, man. That's my bad. That's my bad. Yeah. You can you, see it's been a while. There was honestly a world in that other Lycan race where you were actually ahead even after dying three times. Um based off of some like some relics were skipped. I forget exactly because it was like an hour ago. But there was a point where you still had a, a path to victory, which was crazy. Oh, yeah. also, Swarm, I got to ask you, brother. Um, your <laughs> your loadout in the second castle for that last um, that last race. Why? Yeah. You were using Where ice. You were using ice oh, brand. Ice yeah, yeah. Uh, 
what else did I have? I, I feel like I, I skipped over that Fistatolkis, which sucked. Um, I forgot about it. There was um, but that, there was an iron shield in the shop that you completely ignored. You bought a fire shield and then proceeded to never use it. I mean, I was yeah, screaming I the whole time. <laughs> I uh, forgot about that, and honestly, I don't like Fire Shield because I have I have a lot of mana uh, issues. But I did have all those mana prisms. Oh, you had a lot of mana prisms. You had fifty more than you would ever use. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I understand. Fire Shield is definitely a an investment for mana uh, for sure. So it's understandable. Fire actually got a random Fire Shield as a drop ra uh, early in the seed, and then it ended up yeah you know, evening out since it was in the shop. But boy, oh boy, oh, wow. chat. Is there anything else I should ask these uh, fine competitors before I send them off? If you guys have any questions either about the seed for each other, go right ahead. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> That was a that was a good set of well a weird set of seats for sure. Yeah. Um, oh, I played warlock, dude. <laughs> oh, that would have been crazy. Uh, fire. I do want to ask in race number one, you s went forbidden route in nimble and skipped both alchemy lab checks. Is this like a a thing that you've been like cooking in your back pocket? Yes. Yes. Yep. You want to tell me a little I've bit about been your practicing that? Uh huh. So here's the deal. If I'm right. And I'm prob I probably am, and I calculated it's a set uh, a 12% chance that you miss something. Okay. And like we bet on creature on a 20%, right? Why would you not bet on a 12%? Ooh. But if I'm right, I just save a minute. I think in practice you ended up saving closer to about a minute and a half over a swarm at the start, so that's not bad. Yeah, that's good. I uh, I love it. We Honestly, had a that conversation the other day about layer zero skips and nimble. Yeah, that's that is that sure is an interesting idea. I I'll have to think about that and like maybe mess around with it for myself because I I saw that and I'm like this is insane. What the fuck is he doing? And then it ended up working out, and you got like mm -hmm. a massive lead because of it. So I don't know. Maybe maybe you're, you're wrong. There's a good chance they're gonna have to do that uh, that path again anyway because like to get to Silver Ring up. Uh, to holy glasses or something. So you just yeah, you, there, if you're you, wrong, just go there. You do keep your options open. You always have the entrance warp available at all times. So yeah, actually, it, it's it's making some sense. You're you're getting ready for that nimble tournament if that ever happens. Yeah. You're ten steps ahead for the next tournament. That's what it is. Um, I just want to say thank you guys again. This was a great race. I hope you guys had fun. Um, and uh, I'll see you later swarm for your next tournament match and if at any point mm -hmm. fire in the next couple races you want to join me for commentary you're more than welcome yep let's see if it lines up with dnd &D will yep mm -hmm. sounds good all right damn distract doesn't die there we go it does take a while iron shield does you know the spell animation takes i a could have put the covenant stone i could put the mob lung as well for more damage but i was like eh whatever True. at this point all right ggs to both of you and uh i'll see you guys later Jeez. all right everybody thank you all for watching uh i had a great time um i was gonna stream a little bit later and keep going however uh i think it's more appropriate to end here let's go ahead and rate our winner here the swarm if you lost all of your channel points gambling well you can actually join this raid to get a couple of channel points back if you would like and uh yeah i'll pay out in just a second here thank you all for watching and uh oh if you're watching on youtube subscribe join the live stream twitch.tv slash dragon blitz and uh d d d maybe tier three sub maybe that'd be nice i'd appreciate it thank you